we stay in Scotland to start our second half of our video and we come to the national winning loft of Down Oakham of McMary. Good morning Dow, it's a pleasure to meet you. Good morning Keith, thanks for coming. How long have you been in the sport? Well I first started racing the pigeons in 1969. Yeah, well, as a schoolboy. Yes. Your father was an outstanding champion. Yeah, he was one of the best in Britain, uh -huh. he had won the, the British France the year on seven occasions. Yeah, was he a national winner? Yes, he won the King's Cup, Cup from Rennes twice, and uh, he was first, second and third Sir Tilly, and he was first Young Bird National from Cheltenham. Yeah, he's retired now, is he? Yes, he's retired across to Malta, where he still races the pigeons. They're racing, uh, racing them just now, they race in the winter time. Yeah, lovely. How about one or two of your best performances? Well, I was first King's Cup from Rennes in 1981, and I won the King's Cup again in 1983. So I've actually won it twice. So it makes it quite novel because that's four times the King's Cup has actually been won here, twice by my father, twice by myself. Yeah. And in a hundred years of racing with the Scottish National Flying Club, only three people's managed to achieve winning the Rennes race twice. Myself, my father, there are two of them. Yeah, one of performance. This is a nice Hendel, what's this one? This one is called Cardale Regatta. I would say this is probably my best pigeon at the moment. She's been 211th open rounds, 126th open rounds, and she was 6th open rounds two seasons ago where she won £4,100 for me. What fame is she? Now her sire is a full brother to John Ellis of Elphingston's Lothian Lass. Lothian Lass was a gold diploma winner. And her dam is a daughter of John McElonian's son's first open Sertilli winner. Beautiful pigeon. What system was she raced on? Natural. All my pigeons are raced on the natural. She would be sitting due to hatch day of race. What system do you race your old birds on in Dow? Uh, race the natural. Yeah, how about the Woodhood? Do you like the Woodhood? I've never ever tried the Woodhood. The reason being, all my top performances I would say have been with hen pigeons and I don't see the point in going to Woodhood to sacrifice good hen birds. No. How many pairs you got? Uh, I'll have about, at the moment I've got 40 pairs of racers and I'll have about 50 pairs of stock pigeons. Yeah, when do you pair them up? The stock pigeons are paired up about the 26th of December and the race team are paired up probably about the, the, the last Last weekend in February. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like, long or short? It's always the long distance, that's the races that I prefer. The 500 miles, 543 miles and 603. Yeah, well, what's your preparation, training, etc., for the long races? For getting them ready for the long races? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll start off probably this season with a couple of 40 mile training crosses, which will probably be in the next week if the weather's, weather's good. Then they'll get raced from 60 miles out to Stafford, which is about 210 miles. And then they'll be trained probably about eight times from uh, from Hoyek, which is about a 40 mile training toss. Yeah. And the pigeons will be set down on eggs due to hatch, day of race. I've always found that's usually the best way to have them sitting. Yeah. How about feed? What do you feed? I feed, I feed the Swainson's corn. Yeah. What sort of mixture? It's um, the economy mix. I use it as a base mixture. Um, I add pellets, home one pellets. I add extra maple peas to it. And when the long distance races are coming around, I'll add peanuts. I'm a great believer in peanuts. I think that's one of the main feeds for long distance pigeons. Yeah. Do you put anything in the water? I use uh, multivitamins, and I've just tried using garlic this last two or three weeks back. It's the first time I've ever tried it. Yeah. So what's your favourite for long distance, the hens or cocks? I normally find the hens give me the best races. Both my national winners, they were hens. Cardiel Regatta, six open range. She's another hen. I've yeah. been third open range, so a hen. Most yeah. of them are hens at one. This is the scene inside one of Dow's natural sections. I can honestly say I've never seen so much room in a pigeon off. Absolutely wonderful. Spotless.
This is Dale's fantastic loft. Absolutely wonderful. It belonged to his father before him. This is a nice blue cocktail. What's this one? This one I call Cardale Region. It was fourth open Sartelli as a yearling. It has also been 58 and 104th open Sartelli. That's 500 miles. Yeah, beautiful pigeon. What's his best nest condition? Um, he normally goes along with his hens, so he'll be sitting due to hatch as well. Yeah. What family is he? His sire is a bird I got from Jimison and Harvey from Gallish Shields, and his dam is half my father's and half John Ellis of Elphingston. Yeah, beautiful cock. He's paired to Cardiel Regatta, the Billy Pie Ten. I must congratulate you on your wonderful loft, Dale. It was your father's before you, wasn't it? Yeah, my father built it probably in 1966. He built the end that we're in just now, and then the far away end, it was put on, and then the middle bit was put on. Yeah, it's wonderful. Play your room. Yeah, there's plenty of room, yeah. How many sections have you got? Well, I've got four sections, and this one we're standing in. There's a section next door, which I don't use, and then I've got my stock walls through the back, but there's two sections. Yeah. I noticed in the nest boxes you don't use nest bowls. That's right, I used to uh, use the nest bowls, Keith, but uh, I found that they can manage to build their own nests to be there at the moment, just as, just as convenient. Yeah. Uh, This is a nice cop. Dale, what's this one? This one I call Cardale Max. He's been 15th Open Scottish National Flying Club Sartilla, 500 miles. And last year I tried him at Nantes, 603 miles, where he came in to be 16th Open. Ten days later I put him back to Sartilla, which is 500 miles, and he was 93rd Open. He'll actually be the third best performance bird in Scotland from last year. Beautiful. That's how I just filmed him in his nest box. What's the hen he's paired to? The hen that he's paired to is called Cardale Hope. And she's a full sister to Cardale Region, the first blue cock that you handle. Yeah, beautiful. What's his best nest condition, this pigeon? Well, I've tried him three different ways. I've tried him on eggs in his one, I've tried him on a big youngster in his one, and I've tried him on a big youngster and his hen just laid its first egg. How many babies you breed season in Dow? I'll breed probably 120 for racing. Yeah. How about training and racing? How far they go? Well, for the training, they'll get um, six Hoyaks again, which is 40 miles. And then they'll start off their racing from Hexham, which is 60 miles, out to Worcester, the Young Bird National, which is 260 miles. And all the youngsters will go to the Young Bird National, unless there was any of them which were heavily in the moat. Obviously, they wouldn't go, but yeah. I like to test them right out to the very limit. Yeah. What do you think of the starting system? I've never ever tried the darkness system, so I couldn't really give much comment on it. To yeah. me, it's interfering with nature again, and I like to keep my pigeons as natural as possible. Yeah, I noticed that you don't actually have a young bird section, you actually run with the old birds. No, I just let the young birds run with the old birds, that's right. Yeah, do you think that's better beneficial to them? Well, they're getting plenty of exercise that way. Yeah. I think, I think, it's, I think it's a good help for their education as well, for flying out with old birds or learning the... learning... Tricks of the trade? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. How about feed them? What do you feed? Eh, uh, Swainson's. Yeah. Just the same. Yeah. Do you give them anything special for feeding? For, Pe for, for peanuts for is one of the, the main uh, ingredients I like giving them, especially for the longer distance races. You want to send that? Yeah, it's yes, it is that. Uh... Well, this one is, I call it uh, Cardale Hope. She's a full sister to Cardale Region. What's this pigeon in there? He's lovely. Now we call this one Cardale Starmist. He was sixth open Young Bird National, 260 miles. And he's been 17th open Nyort, which is 673 miles. And last year he was 8th open Nance, 603 miles. What firm is he? His sire is a son of John Cosgrove and Sons, Nance winner. And the dam of that pigeon is a John Ellis of Elphingston, which is a full sister to Lothian Lass again. Well, look at this then. What a wonderful stock section. The pigeons have tons of room. 
and on that lovely straw litter. They really look well. This is Dale Newcomb's stop loft. How many pairs of stock birds do you keep then, Dale? Generally between 40 and 50 pairs of stock pigeons. Yeah, and when do you pair them up? Pair them up about Boxing Day, usually. What do you look for when you go out for a pigeon to buy? I like to buy sons and daughters of uh, national winners, preferably obviously the King's Cup. Yeah. From Reigns. How about a type? Do you go for a type? No, as long as they're well bred, generally you'll find that the birds that are bringing their pedigrees stretch back over generations upon generations. Yeah, that's good Scottish one. pigeons. So that's pedigree rather than type? Yeah. Do it doesn't bother me type because I've seen that many different types of pigeons winning for me, I don't think it makes any difference. Yeah, are you interested in eye sign at all? I'm no interest in eye sign whatsoever, I wouldn't even know what I was looking for. It's just another theory of fire as far as I'm concerned. It's a nice pigeon down, what's this one? This is what I call Cardiel Starlight. She's been ninth open and 22nd open now, 603 miles. And her breeding, her sire, is a son of Aaron M. Seaton's second open New York winner. And her dam is a full sister to Frankie Soonis of Dunbar's second open New York winner. So once again, bred from good Best. distance yeah. pigeons. It's beautiful head, like apple body. Yes, it is. Lovely. Lovely. Alright Dale, your pigeons are great too. Thank you very much for letting me see them today. Thank you very much for coming.